Here we are at the entrance of Green Hill School's STEM and Innovation Center. Immediately, I notice timber almost everywhere I turn. Well, it's actually mass timber, short for massive timber. I wonder how mass timber affects what I hear. I'm not noticing much of an echo as I'm speaking. Let's explore the question. How does mass timber affect the acoustics of the building? In buildings with high walls and ceilings, sounds can echo because sound waves have more space to bounce around before they can quiet down. This time is called reverberation time. The taller the room, the longer it takes for sounds to quiet down. Here's where mass timber comes in. Mass timber has special acoustic properties, meaning it can absorb sound better than materials like concrete. Its pore structure helps to soak up sound, reducing the echo and making the place feel quieter and more peaceful. There's another spot on campus where my voice sounds different. It's the Elliott Center and is located in one of our upper school buildings. When I talk to my friends here, I hear a lot more echoes, despite the space being smaller. Let's figure out why. The only place where I see timber is on the ceiling. Timber helps to absorb sound, as I mentioned earlier, so with less of it, there could be more of an echo. Maybe the materials used here bounce sound around more than they absorb it. That could also be why the echo is louder. There's even a formula called the Sabine equation that engineers use to calculate the exact reverberation time of a room. It's really cool to think about how designers and engineers consider things like sound when choosing materials for a building. Here's that equation. The letters you see here are called variables. They help us understand different things about a space. For example, the letter V tells us how big the room is, and A tells us how much sound the room can soak up. Together, these two variables give us the reverberation time of a room. If you're interested in learning more about mass timber, check out our video that answers the question, why did the designers of this building decide to use mass timber?